to a new video. In today's video, I am going to be doing an Animal Crossing set of nails because I am obsessed with it at the moment. So I dug some colours out that I thought I was going to use, but in actual fact, I only used Honeydew Melon and Mellow in the end. The other colours, I, I decided to change up a little bit what I was going to do. So we'll, we'll just ignore the other ones, but the other ones are gorgeous, but we're only going to use this one and Mellow. So I'm going to start with Honeydew Melon and I'm going to apply it to two tips, but I only show you me applying it to one because initially, like at the start of me doing this set, I was going to do something a bit different. So that is, yeah, that is why I'm only showing you me doing it on one, but it will be on two. So pop your first coat on. These Nelkami gel polishes cure in an LED lamp for 30 seconds. So pop it in the lamp, give it a second coat. Like this. <laughs> and then pop it in the lamp again. Now when I'm using the Artisan gel paints, Nelkami do sell one of these palettes and it has 12 like individual dishes. I can't remember what they call them. I call them dishes, but they call them something else. Um, but you can squirt your gel paint inside the dish. And then once you're finished, you can just close it up and it stops it from, like it stops any wastage. And it will be safe from the, you know, any UV light. So it won't cure inside the palette, if you know what I mean. I have, where have I gone? Where are you, Nats? I've sped this up because oh, okay, all I'm so tired. Do you know what? We uh, we lost an hour at the weekend because the clocks went forward, and I definitely I've, I'm feeling it. I am today. We were we were even got up late. We usually up before my alarm goes off, but we we the yeah the alarm had gone off and we were still fast asleep. Anyway, on this now, I'm gonna draw some of the Animal Crossing leaves that you see. The iconic Animal Crossing leaf has got a little bit of a um, it's got like a a circle cut out of it. But this one, I think, it's from Animal Crossing Lou Leaf, wasn't it? The the game for the 3DS. This first leaf that I'm doing is just going to be a full leaf, but I am going to fill the nails up with three, I think I end up doing three leaves in the end. Um, also, this first leaf I went in without drawing the design art. What I did after I'd done this one was I, you can wipe the tacky layer off the gel polish and then just use a pencil to like trace out or mark out sorry not trace but mark out your design on the nail and then you have a guide where to put your gel paint i do do that afterwards but not yeah um so yeah so i'm just gonna carry on doing this now i am gonna speed this up as well because it does take me rather a long time this set took me quite a while and the video as it stands is 34 minutes long but i will speed it up when I come to edit it in iMovie on my iMac. So it should make it a little bit shorter. But anyway, I will get back to you when I have finished doing the leaves. Okay, so that's the first leaf. And then I will add, look, I've add some other, added some other leaves on. And you can see the one at the top is the one with the, like, the cutout bit. But I've cured the, the artisan gel paints need 60 seconds in an LED lamp. So I've cured those. Then I'm going to go over with the velvet matte because I want the nails to be matte finished today because I'm a little bit obsessed with matte at the minute. Again, the top coats need 30 seconds. Look, if you want it shiny, that's what it will look like. It will, I think it will look nice shiny as well, but I want to do it matte because I do like, I do like a matte nail. So yeah, this is mellow, this one. This is the yellow that, again, we're going to do two tips, but I'm only showing you me doing one. This gel polish is part of the, the their most recent launch, launch, the Flower Power Collection. It's a really nice yellow, actually. I like this one. So this is our second coat. That first one will have been cured for 30 seconds in the lamp. And then we'll do this one as well. Give this one a cure. Isn't that a nice yellow? 
so i'm um, these are these are all the artisan gel paints that i'm going to be using i do mix some of them i, I and obviously the white one which you saw me use before but i do i've wiped off the tacky layer off this nail and onto this i'm just going to mark out tom nook's face so his whole face is not going to fit on it, it we're going to kind of zoom in a little bit on his face we're not going to we're not going to sh shrink it to fit on the nail because it, it's going to be a little bit awkward. Look, can you see the, the charging cable there? I didn't realise it was still there. And look, I must be watching the telly because I've stopped. <laughs> Good old Netflix distracting me again. So yeah, this is what you can do. You can just mark out where you're going to put the outline of things on nails. You don't, just because it's a, a nail tip, doesn't mean you can't, you know, draw on it. You're going to cover it up with gel paint anyway. So I've added his little ears. And then, yeah, I, I moved his um, his chin because I felt like it was going to be, his face was going to be too narrow. So I've moved it down a little bit. And then on my palette, I've put the artisan gel paints. But I have this one here, this brown. This isn't the brown that came out the pot. This is a brown that I've mixed with. I mixed it with a little bit of yellow and i think i put a little bit of white in it as well to make it a little bit lighter and also as i put it on you'll notice that it is going to look a little bit patchy but i'm putting this on really thin i'm putting it on you know quite thin so i do end up curing this and then going in with a second coat also we're putting it on top of the yellow so you're going to see the yellow underneath which is why we're going to need two coats i also swapped over to the this is the art gel now can we art gel now i'm not used to using this but i thought i would use it to cover because it's a it's thicker than my nail art brush the natalie mugridge nail sugar nail art brush um so i thought i'd use this to cover up the majority of the space i thought it would be quicker than the nail art brush but I was, I didn't like some of the streaks that it left because I, I don't know, I remember I was just being a bit fussy. So I went over with my detailer brush, but it still left streaks anyway, which is why I ended up having to do two coats as well. <laughs> so I'll let you watch this bit and I will get back to you. Okay, you can see now it's much better with that second coat. Uh, just looks a lot more opaque. So Tom Nook has got, it looks like he's wearing an eye mask. You know, there's the sleepy eye masks that you wear when you go to bed. So using the brown straight from the artisan bottle, this is the, this is a nice dark brown. And um, we're gonna draw the, the, the brown around his eyes. He's a bear, but what kind of bear is he? I don't know what kind of bear he is. I don't know. I'm like asking myself. Like, I don't know. But I'm asking myself and I don't know the answer to the question. Also, if you make a mistake, I do just use my... You'll see me do it again in a minute because I've... I'm going to yawn again. Oh, so sorry. It's so rude to yawn, isn't it? Is it, is it rude to yawn? Yawning. I'm yawning at myself doing the voiceover. Oh... <laughs> You guys are probably fast asleep by now. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm going to put his little face mask on. That's not really a face mask. And you will notice that um, I do use my NAF cleanup brush because I've i done it. I've done the shape slightly wrong. So you can go ahead and correct any mistakes that you make with a cleanup brush and you can just go over it again. So don't worry about that. And then I'm not going to cure that yet. Um, I'm going to do, right, his nose. I, I googled a picture of him and he had like different shading on around his nose. So like the, the, the closer to you you got, the darker the colour was. So I just mixed a little bit of the original brown that I used. I mixed it with a little bit of white, I think. No, um, no, I added a bit more of the dark brown, sorry, to make it slightly darker. See, can you see? So we've got like a little patch of brown. And then I'm going to give that a 30 second cure. And then on the top of that, 
I'll do, I'll mix a little bit more of the brown in to make it darker and then I'll start again. I do leave a little gap around the bottom and the sides, but I mean, it was so small, you could hardly see it. I think if I were to do it again, I'd probably just go straight in with the dark brown to finish off the nose. I was just, I was trying to be smart ass and it went a bit wrong. <laughs> I do go off screen a bit here as well, but we're just literally finishing off his nose. It's a bit annoying of me, sorry. There we go. So that's gonna go in the lamp now to cure then this this bit here we're gonna we're gonna put in his, his eyes in but this me doing this here just goes to show you how opaque and pigmented these artisan gel paints are so we put in the white over the brown and there's no patchiness no streakiness look it's just completely isn't it good? It just goes to show you how nice these gel paints are. I love them. These are my favourite gel paints. I'd go so far as to say that they are. I haven't tried that many, but to be honest, I've. Do you know what? I've found these ones, and these ones have pretty much been my favourite since I've since I've got them. I don't have any. Do you know? You know what? Do you know what I mean? My favourite. I love them. I love them a lot, but I use them a lot as well. And I think that just goes to show. Do you know what you know what I mean? I'm saying you know what I mean a lot, and it's very annoying. Okay, now we're gonna put the eye on the other side. I did do you know what? It was really awkward getting them to be symmetrical. I did, I struggled a bit. That was a quick yawn. I can't stop yawning now. It's because I've stopped and I've sat down. It's not good. Do you know what? It's going to be late afternoon by the time I post this up on YouTube as well. So you guys are probably yawning with me. I'm really sorry if I've made you all yawn. <laughs> I'm going to try and stop. Trouble is, this video is quite long as well. There we go. Anyway, stop waffling. Uh, when I'm happy with his eyes, I wanted to make this one a little bit bigger because I felt like the other one was a bit bigger and I didn't want them to be wonky because his eyes are exactly the same size. So once I'm happy... I'm going to pop this in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. I know I keep doing little 30 second cures, but we will go in at the end and give it all a full 60 second cure. But now the eyes are done, I'm using the lighter brown that mix that I made up just to pop his eyelids on. Now his eyelids are slanted. He's got like little tired sad eyes. That not he's not got a frowny eyes. He's got his eyes his eyes go the other way. Not a frown. Turn your frown upside down. Do you know what I mean? It's He looks like little sad, tired eyes. So there we go. Now he's, he's got his little eyelids on. That's going to pop in the lamp for a cure. And then I'm just going to use the blue. The blue I mixed with a little bit of white because I thought the blue was a little bit too dark. So we're just going to make his irises, the coloured part of his eyeballs. And then once they are nice and even, they will go in the lamp again. I do just clean up that one on the left a little bit because it was a little bit wonky. And then just to finish off his little face, we're going to put some of the pink artisan gel paint in his ear. Ears. Ears. E -R -E -R. <laughs> there we go. Put a bit too much of pink in that one. How cute is he looking though? There we go. Oh my god, I love him so much. So he's going to go in for a 60 second cure. And then I'm just going to finish him off with a coat of the velvet matte top coat. Again, uh, this is gonna match the leaf nail which was matte finished as well i'm oh, i feel like i'm repeating myself a lot make sure you cover the whole nail with this velvet matte top coat because you don't want any shiny streaks left over where you've not covered the whole nail pop that in the lamp for 30 seconds and then this is where we are at so far it's little tom look i'm good right so i was gonna i was gonna paint something on uh, something else but i decided <clears throat> I haven't used these 4D sculpting gels for ages and I thought 
this would be the perfect time to use them so they're they're sculpting gels look can you see me i'm such an idiot i did have to mix this one i had to mix some of them together to make this color it's not quite as blue as i would have liked we're going to create a fossil that you can dig up in the game and i'm using a little bit of cleanser on my little brush it's just a it's just like a little acrylic pointed 3d brush actually i think this is my cleanup brush but i'm just using it i'm out of shot as well so flipping annoying um i'm just kind of shaping it into the shape of the fossils that you get in the game if you don't play the game you'll have no clue what i'm on about if you don't play the game get the game and play it because it's so good <laughs> i love it so much it's so crazy cute crazy cute So once I'm happy with the shape of the fossil, I will give it a 60 second cure in the lamp. Okay, so while that's in, I'm going to take some of this white 4D artisan, what is this? Sculpting gel, sculpting gel. Um, and we're going to make like a snail shell. No, yes. We're gonna look we're just gonna roll it in our finger you can use water to do this so that it doesn't you shouldn't really do this with your naked fingers because you shouldn't use uncured product on your naked fingers but i do because i'm naughty look we're gonna roll it up like this but this one i done wrong i wanted to make it a lot thicker so i took it off squidged it into a sausage again not as thin this time and then i just tried to wiggle it around honestly this stuff is brilliant but it's really fiddly <laughs> so i got there we go look it's like a little snail isn't it like a shell of a snail that's going to go on the fossil or the top of the fossil that's that is going to be the fossil should i say now i'm patting it down a little bit so that it sticks to the blue part of the fossil but i want to define the snaily bit as well so I'm just using my tools to, where have I gone, there we are, to just sort of, look, we'll just work it around so that that snaily part isn't squidged down, it's it's more defined. This is a pointy little mini silicon tool. Can you hear the workmen outside? They were quiet a minute ago and now they're really noisy. Let me go and shut my window. Okay, so once we're happy with that, that is going to go in the lamp for a cure. Then we're going to we're going to make a bell bag. So bells in Animal Crossing are a form of currency. Like we'd have a bag of coins, they have a bag of bells, but the bells are actually coins. I think. Yes, they are coins because you shake the trees and they fall out. Uh, so yeah, there we go. A bit of uh, useless information for you there. So again, I'm just going to shape the the brown. 4d gel that i've got here is a mix of the brown and a yellow because the bag looked a bit yellower than the brown in the pot i don't know what else is in here <laughs> but you can mix them to create the colors that you want which is really good so that's the bell bag and then i'm going to use the i've took a little bit off that brown that you would have seen this is going to be the 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 you know where they tie the bag up that's going to be the top of the bag it looked like a bit of a i don't know, it looked really weird it looked a bit like a camel toe i don't know it just went really wrong <laughs> by the way if you don't know what a camel toe is don't ask <laughs> i shouldn't have described it like that oh dear look i i tried to make it i god knows what i was doing what on earth Anyway, once I'm happy, which I wasn't, but I thought, I, I don't know what I'm doing here. So I ended up just shoving it in the lamp. It just looks really weird. <laughs> and give it a 60 second cure. And then the bag needs to be, it needs to be done up. So it's like done up with like a red kind of ribbon. So we're using the red 4d sculpting gel to create the the kind of ribbon so it's kind of tied up in a knot as well 
so we're going to put this little bit here and then i'm going to take a little tiny bit to create like a little blob this is going to sit on the other side so that's going to be like our knot so it looks like it's kind of tied in a knot and then we're going to just get like two little stringy bits and we're going to have them come off the the knot i went off screen again there so that's a bit of a disaster so we'll just ignore that bit <laughs> on the top of the bag also on the bag of bells there is a dark brown heart no not heart it's a star so i'm using the brown artisan gel paints to create a star if i had this in the tack free version i'd have used the tack free version because you can just finish off the nail but i do not so i'm going to use the tacky artisan gel paint and i'm going to use the matte top coat afterwards just to, to top coat this it to seal it all in and stuff okay so that's the star done this is the tack free artisan gel paint in white that i'm going to use so this can be used on a finished nail because it's tack free obviously there's no tacky layer um, so I'm going to use this on the, what's that thing called at the top? The fossil. So the fossil has like a little star. Actually, it's got kind of like two little stars, but one of the stars is more defined than the other one. So this, because I've got such a small space, I'm kind of just trying to make, it, it's like a, it looks like a little stick person, but I tried to make it look like a star. I don't think I've done too bad a job. And then this one isn't a five pointed star. It's like, it's just got like, it's like a four pointed star. It's, it's yeah, but that's, that's the fossil. I was really, really pleased with the fossil actually. I thought that was, yeah, I loved how the fossil turned out. <laughs> uh, so this is a velvet matte top coat that I am just gonna, I'm literally only gonna go over the brown artisan gel paint, not the entire bag because I, I don't know why just because um so i will give this a a 30 second cure the tack free artisan gel paint as well cure for 60 seconds as well fyi so we've done three of our four nails the last nail i decided we wanted to we, we, we wanted i wanted to put crystals on so i've got these clear preciosa heart crystals they're flat backs and I have got some round Preciosa clear flat backs as well and some silver caviar beads. All I wanted to do was, all I want to do is do it. Big girl, big girl. <laughs> that's from, what is that from? Uh, Harry Enfield. Oh my God, that's been so long. Harry Enfield, it must be really old now. I used to watch it when I was younger. Anyway, we're doing like a trail of crystals and I've put some hearts in there as well. I don't put enough, I don't think I put enough gem glue on for the, these hearts. Um, I've got a little bit of gem glue leakage there on that middle one. So I'm just gonna put a, what is that thing? A caviar bead at the top there. If you have, <clears throat> if you have gem glue that like leaks out a lot, and you know where your crystals kind of want to go. If, you, if you're going to put crystals around it, just use that gem glue by putting some beads or another crystal in it. Do you know what I mean? Because you don't want to, you don't want to have gem glue leakage. Cure it, and then you, you don't. You, if you're going to put more gem glue where that leakage was, it's just you're just going to have like gem glue build up, and it's not going to look very nice. I think am I explaining do you know what I mean I hope you know what I mean so where I want these I'm just making like a little trail here so from the bottom of one heart it's going to lead to the top of the other or the top of one heart's going to lead to the bottom of the other so we're just like making a little a little trail between one crystal and the other and it's going to come off the bottom and off at the top as well just like that just like that and then i am just going to fill in the areas between the crystals the heart crystals with some smaller crystals and some caviar beads so like yeah literally like a little heart trail because i love animal crossing let me know in the comments if you play animal crossing um i really liked a new leaf but i really really liking new horizons now that i've got my little switch 
although I played it on my my last Switch that my son now has, but I, I've started a new world on this Switch, obviously. And it's Easter now, so we've got Zipper, the Easter bunny there, who's a little bit annoying. Once you've done it, well, the first time I've done it, it was great, but now when you, you know, when you get to do it again, it's a little bit annoying, because he's a little bit annoying. And like, you want to look up, you want to fish for fish and stuff, but you end up fishing up eggs, fishing up eggs, and you don't want eggs, you want fish, and it's like, oh, but there we go. I've got to do it, because I haven't done it on this island yet. Just saying. Sorry, a little bit of useless Animal Crossing information there for you. <laughs> So I'm just going to finish this and then I will pop it in the lamp for 60 seconds. You can get 5% off any Crystal Parade crystals, by the way, using my code NAT5. I did add some onto Tom Nook there as well. I just felt like it sort of brought the set together a little bit more. But I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you like Animal Crossing, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. I'll leave the link to Nalkami in the description box below. Um, and I'll see you beautiful lot tomorrow with another video, which I haven't done yet. I'm so behind at the moment. Anyway, love you all. Bye.